I'm John Sadler at Sadler Sports Insurance, and we're the endorsed insurance provider for Dixie, and I'm going to briefly explain what's new for the 2020 season. As regards insurance, we're offering the same policies, the same insurance carriers, and the same coverages as last season. Dixie Youth is taking an 8% decrease on accident and a 15% increase on general liability for a blended average increase of 7%. Dixie Boys is taking a 15% decrease on accident and a 25% increase on general liability for a blended average decrease of 2%. Dixie Softball is taking an 8% decrease on accident and a 15% increase on general liability for a 3% blended average increase. The entire sports insurance industry has put concussions on the back burner and is now more paranoid about sex abuse and molestation lawsuits. They're seeing these not just with the Olympic governing bodies, but also with local recreation-based organizations. The fear over sex abuse and molestation is the primary driver for the general liability rate increases. It's interesting to note that we aggressively negotiate renewal pricing and the blended average accident and general liability rates are less than they were in 2007, and in some cases, significantly less. And our prices for the additional policies of directors and officers liability, crime and equipment will remain the same. Now that we've discussed what's new, I'm going to tell you what I suggest you do based on my 30 years of experience as a sports insurance specialist and risk manager. You need to purchase accident and general liability insurance on 100% of the teams in your league prior to the start of the regular season or even earlier in most cases to cover tryouts and preseason activities. Accident insurance pays medical bills on behalf of injured participants on an excess basis after any existing family health insurance has responded. General liability covers lawsuits alleging bodily injury and property damage, primarily injuries to spectators and participants. It also covers lawsuits alleging sex abuse and molestation if you've complied with the policy requirements. You also need to purchase directors and officers liability because it covers certain types of lawsuits that are not covered by general liability such as discrimination, wrongful termination or suspension of your staff or players, and failure to follow your own rules and bylaws when making administrative decisions. Leagues that have bank accounts or credit cards need crime insurance to protect against insider embezzlement and unauthorized personal charges. And leagues that have significant equipment values need equipment insurance to protect against loss due to fire, wind, theft, and vandalism. It's very important to note that your critical coverage for sex abuse and molestation will be voided unless the insured team or league implements the following requirements. Number one, has a system in place to perform criminal background checks on all managers, coaches, and other authorized adult participants in the league who have repetitive access to and close contact with minor athletes. Number two, has written procedures that include sexual abuse and molestation prevention. And number three, has written procedures that include a response plan, for allegations of sex abuse or molestation, including a requirement that law enforcement be contacted. You should require all of your participants and their parents to sign a recommended waiver release form as a precondition of participation. Our Dixie Insurance webpage has articles that explain why they are worth the paper they're written on and why the use of electronic waivers as part of an online registration is permissible. We also provide a sample waiver form which you can find on this page. In addition, you need to adopt and implement three simple risk management programs which are found on our Dixie Insurance webpage to better protect yourself and to try to prevent the injury or lawsuit in the first place. The first one is to adopt the Child Protection Plan which has been published by Dixie Youth, Dixie Boys, and Dixie Softball on their websites and on ours as well. You must adopt and implement this written program to be in compliance with the federal 
Safe Sport Act, and to meet the requirements of your general liability carrier to not void your coverage for sex abuse and molestation. The second is our one-page concussion risk management program, which is not a carrier requirement, but is strongly recommended as it provides basic coach education on concussions, which do account for about 7% of total injuries in youth baseball and softball, which is a pretty significant number and definitely deserves our attention. Many states have legislation that requires youth sports organizations to have a written concussion risk management plan. And the third is our 13-page risk management program, which provides broad-based awareness training on how to recognize risk at the ballpark and how to respond to risk. It covers risk in your facilities, equipment, supervision, instruction, sports injury care, and auto safety. You simply distribute the program by email to all of your administrators and staff and they read it. This awareness training will automatically result in risk management being practiced and in a reduction of injuries and lawsuits. I've quickly summarized what I think you need to do in my opinion and now I want to talk about how to access services on our website for when you get back home. Our website is SadlerSports.com. You can click on Get a Quote and you can find the programs for Dixie Youth, Dixie Boys, and Dixie Softball. Now all three programs have almost identical web pages, so we're going to just use Dixie Youth as the example. We have educational sections that are of importance under the heading Quick Education. The first one is the risk of going uninsured. Now this applies to those leagues out there that still don't buy insurance, mistakenly think they're covered adequately by their municipal rec department, or those that make the mistake of only buying insurance on their tournament teams. Now we pay a lot of claims under this insurance program. The average accident claim is $1,600 and the average general liability is $49,000. Now we list the sources of the most common claims, which are what you would expect. There are slips, trips, and falls, spectators being hit by overthrown balls, and serious uh, injuries to players. But others are just bizarre and unexpected. For example, we've had claims resulting from fights between umpires and parents, electrocutions from shorts and light poles, concession workers being burned by cooking devices, we've had drownings at swimming outings, and even an auto fatality case caused by a negligently placed league signage that blocked the view of a driver. The second section are the 11 reasons why the Dixie Insurance Program blows away the competition. Now this is not just sales exaggeration, but I can confidently tell you that the endorsed Dixie programs offer your leagues the broadest coverage available anywhere at the absolute lowest cost. Also, we have the fastest and easiest online enrollment in the industry where in just five to ten minutes you can get a quote on all five policies, pay with online check or credit card, and print off your proof of coverage documents and certificates 24-7. Our automation also allows you to issue new certificates for field owners at any time and you can even add additional insured status if required. Also, if you end up registering more teams than expected, you can simply complete an add delete form and pay the additional premium or get a refund if you've overestimated. The third section that we have is coverage descriptions of all five policies. You need to review this to understand why you really need all five of the policies that are available. This section also explains many of our custom coverage enhancements such as sex abuse and molestation and the non-owned and hired auto liability which many competitors don't offer. The fourth section is what you need to know before you apply for coverage. The main point I'd like to hit on here is that some leagues make the big mistake of only buying coverage for their tournament teams. Now that's playing with fire as most of the exposure comes during the regular season. Also, if you buy insurance on all regular season teams, you will automatically meet the Dixie Rulebook requirements for your tournament teams, and if your league hosts an officially sanctioned tournament, you're going to sail through uh, the Credentials Committee meetings. 
On the other hand, if you don't buy through the endorsed program, your paperwork will be closely scrutinized and you may be scrambling for replacement insurance at the last minute. Now we're being increasingly asked questions about if our insurance covers play against non-Dixie teams, whether you're traveling to other locations or hosting. The answer is yes, but only if it is approved by your league president and follows Dixie safety rules and regulations. And finally, we have a risk management section that you can access, which is loaded with uh, content such as forms, articles, templates, and videos. We go through the entire risk management process, appoint risk management officer, how to set your plan up, uh, how to choose quality insurance, uh, how to contractually transfer the risk to other parties, such as waiver release forms, uh, such as image releases, uh, what you need to know before you sign the facility lease agreement, how to collect certificates of insurance from vendors, how to avoid or mitigate high-risk activities, uh, a special section on child abuse, molestation, brain injury, and other serious risks such as lightning safety, bleacher risk management, 12 and 15 passenger vans, and, and heat illness, and uh, just a, a lot of great content that you can take advantage of. In addition to this, we have a fantastic uh, blog section that, that is searchable uh, by category, and it, it has over 500 blogs on all types of topics that, that have to do with uh, safety and risk management. Thanks for listening today, and remember with just a very small time commitment, you can document your risk management programs and you can train your staff on how to practice risk management. Please remember to visit our Dixie web pages. And also, if you have any questions, you can contact our office by phone, email, or chat. Best wishes for a successful 2020 season.